Hey guys, it's Michelle with Brie and Blondie Homestead. Today I'm taking you inside my kitchen and we are going to make some homemade butter. As you know, if you followed me on the blog and my YouTube channel, we do have a family milk cow. So with that comes a lot of creamy goodness. We milk a Jersey cow and Jerseys are known for their high butter fat. But one of our favorite things to make is butter. It stores really well in the freezer and it's obviously amazing on homemade bread. This is a typical half gallon jar full of milk that we get from our cow. On average, I'm milking around one and a half to two gallons per milking session. Our milk cow gets milk two times a day, once in the morning, once again in the evening. So I'm sitting around three to three and a half gallons of milk a half gallon to three quarters of a gallon worth of cream every day. I will skim the cream off using a turkey baster and place it in one of these quart size jars or I'll place it into a half gallon size mason jar if that we have that much cream. I'm making butter every one to two days. It's something that I can easily do on my KitchenAid mixer. Another thing that you could try is using a blender. I have mixed reviews about using a blender versus my KitchenAid mixer. I honestly think the KitchenAid mixer does a better job at it, but when I store my cream inside of a regular size mason jar, so not the wide mouth jar, the regular size mouth jar, your Oster blender top, if you have an Oster blender that is, screws right onto your mason jar. I can easily place my mason jar that is full of only cream and it will just blend butter right on my blender top using my mason jar. Today we are going to be looking at using a KitchenAid mixer to make our butter. When you're using raw source of milk like this or if it is non-homogenized milk, the cream will start to rise up to the top. This is where you go in and you skim that cream off. You will only be using the cream portion for the butter. If you happen to get some milk in there, no big deal. It will just equal more buttermilk left over in the end if you include some milk in with the cream. I place the whisk attachment onto my mixer. After I have my cream added into my mixing bowl, put the mixer down, you want to keep the mixer around anywhere from speeds of 4 to 6. This tends to get quite messy. I always cover my mixer with a towel and sometimes I'll put a towel even underneath my mixer. I would recommend taking your milk out and placing it on the counter for about 10 to 20 minutes before you go to make butter. The warmer the milk, the easier it is for those fat molecules to separate away, making your cream churn into butter more quickly. If you don't have fresh cream, you can always use heavy whipping cream from the store. This isn't always the most cost effective way to source butter. Store bought cream can run anywhere from 15 cents to $1 more than store bought butter. Visit my blog in the link below for more information on pricing. One of my favorite things about homemade butter is an amazing yellow gold color. It's from all that beta carotene that's found in summer grass that the cows are out eating. After your butter is solidified, fill a bowl with cold water and drop a few ice cubes in it. Squeeze and rinse the butter many times to remove any buttermilk coating it. Buttermilk will spoil the butter more quickly. Remove the butter from water and dust the salt over the surface of one side of the butter. Salt is added for flavoring and preserving, prolonging the shelf life. After rinsing and salting, I would recommend either putting it into your butter dish right away or freezing it using a freezer tight container. I'll try to link the containers that I like to use. They are a one pound container and they are made for the freezer or you can simply wrap your butter in some type of a wax paper and then place your butter in the wax paper inside of a freezer bag. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video making homemade butter. I'd love it if you gave this video a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more homesteading videos to come.